Right, video number three in myth busting reward food. I'm off to the point. Can I go and scoff my face with donuts because I just had a really hard session? <laughs> no. No, you can. See you next week. All right, look. One thing that you need to look at when you are trying to aim at a specific body shape, right? Let's just say that you're wanting to lose weight. That's why you're exercising. You might be doing spin classes. You might be doing Les Mills classes. You might be going for runs, lifting weights, hit training. Well, every bit of exercise that you're doing is adding to a pool of calories that you're already burning throughout the day. Let's just say that it adds up to 2,000. So at the very least, you need to match that to maintain your body weight. But remember, you in this scenario, you are wanting to lose weight. That's, that's why you specifically are going to the gym. So you need to then take yourself into what we call a deficit. So 2,000 calories, that'll get you maintenance. 1,500, theoretically, a 500 calorie deficit should get you a pound a week loss. Now it takes 3,500 calories total to put on or lose a pound of body fat. So literally next time you step on the scale and you go, oh God, I've only lost a pound. Well, just think that's 3,500 calories that you've made yourself not eat. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's what you need to be making sure. And on the point of, can I eat this because I've done that? Look at how many calories you've got left at the end of the day. If you have some left over, go wild.